Wow, well played hell guys. Hey guys, Steve here, Command Center Wargaming. So fantastic. Um, so look, uh, we've got a, bit, a lot of news coming in and um, what's actually happening, uh, I've started a Warhammer League uh, at uh, some, with some of my students in Australia, which is awesome. And uh, we're getting a massive room and all this kind of stuff where I can finally start setting up some of my, you know, a lot of my gear, which I do have quite a bit of it. And um, also, the awesome part about it is we're going to be doing campaigns and all that. And um, I originally had the intention of setting all the stuff up in the two garages downstairs, as a lot of you have known, after I moved. Uh, but the problem has been that like there's a lot of spiders down there. And being Australia, I'm sure you can understand that that's a pretty big spiders. So, uh, as much as I love doing YouTube, I uh, don't really want to be tubing and uh, content creating with... Uh, a bunch of neothropes and tomagaunts and things like that running around me, um, getting some nasty surprises. So I've had to uh, postpone that. That's why there hasn't been a green screen set up or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so over there, I'll be able to do all that. It's pretty fantastic. Some of the guys are helping me do that. That means we're going to be doing a lot of battle reports as well. Um, we're going to be doing um, some kill teams. So kill team's going to be a big one there. So the games will be 30K, Horus Heresy, 40k, 8th edition, kill team, um, also want to try get a little bit of battle tech in there, and uh, also bolt action, and uh, a new one, which is Star Wars Legion, which I'm really, really excited about, uh, I don't know if any of you have seen it yet, but there was a new Mandalorian trailer that dropped today, it's absolutely fantastic, um, and I've been a pretty big critic of Star Wars, um, as Doc Valiant knows, I've, I've kind of gone off my chops a bit with this one, because it's literally like, Star Wars Predator, you know, with like Boba Fett or a Mandalorian of some kind. And, um, you know, like it's, it's really grim dark. So, you know, there's Stormtrooper helmets hanging on spikes and stuff. I was actually going to do a reaction video for it on the channel, but uh, it is Star Wars. So this is mainly, you know, it is war gaming, but it's more Warhammer. Um, so I didn't want to do the Star Wars trailer reaction because I just thought it was a bit inappropriate for the channel. But um, but Star Wars Legion is a war game and we are Command Center War Gaming and um, we know, we've got a team of guys that want to play it. And uh, so we're going to be bat repping those and we're going to be making a lot of content around those and stuff uh, moving forward with the channel. And um, yeah, so a bit of news floating around there and, um, and it's going to be awesome. And uh, hopefully we can expand the channel out a bit, which was originally my intention. Um, but what this video is about today, I wanted to show you this. I wanted to share this with you. Now, I found this model. It's not a Warhammer model. Uh, it's actually a kit from TACCOM, whoever they are. I don't know. I've never heard of them. Um, it's basically some like Japanese uh, model company. But um, this is actually going to be one of the objectives um, in my campaign map that I'm designing uh, for the Warhammer League. And it's like... I'm also going to be free printing some orbital guns and terrains and tanks and all this kind of stuff like that. Um, custom terrains. And um, I think this is a Ger yeah, it's w World War II German. Uh, German flat gun. And uh, it's going to be awesome. There's a there's like a full there's a full base there for it as well, like for the bunker section. So I just thought it like looked really, really good. Um, you know, material uh, for Imperial Guard for Astra Militarum. And the idea is uh, one of the missions I sort of designed um, for the uh, for the Warhammer League was basically to have like a whole bunch of deck guns, and um, you know you have to basically infiltrate and and uh, capture, seize control of the uh, of the flat cannons. Um, in terms of Warhammer, these can be like you know las cannons, whatever um, you know macro meso, mega destructors or whatever you want to call them. Um, but um, but I thought it was really cool, and it looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion as well. I just love that base, you know, that sort of World War Two um uh, layout there, that design. And the idea, the idea was is is going to be that like when people go through and they achieve those objectives, we're going to have a campaign map, and then you know different people, um, different armies that that win on certain battles will then. Um, buff other parts of the map. So, you know, like, for example, if, uh, you know, it's Ultramarine Legion Army, you know, captures a flat gun, um, in the next battle, they might have, like, you know, a plus one to hit on one unit or something like that. Um, you know, it's not something that's going to help out, but it's not going to be, like, completely overpowered. Um, so, yeah, all sort of things like that, power generators and stuff like that. Um, 
So it's going to be pretty fantastic. And yeah, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot going on in this kit. So I thought I'd just basically just go through and open it um, with you now. I'm pretty excited about it. I've just ordered a whole lot of Star Wars Legion stuff as well. So ex expect to see a lot of Star Wars Legion coming your way. Um, also as well, I'm just putting the, uh, well, it's not the finishing touches. There's still a fair bit to go. I'm about 70% on my Spartan. Um, so that's basically coming along. Um, okay. Uh, still needs a lot, lot of work though. Um, but then that will be done and, uh, there'll be more Alpha Legion stuff coming up. So yeah, we'll just, what I'll do is I'll just open it like this. Um, it's, you know, it's not a massive unboxing, but I think it's just interesting to have a look inside. So as you can see, that's quite a sizable gun, right? That's the base. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this. Hopefully, I might even put this together tonight. Um, hopefully, it won't take too long to put together. Um, and just to give you, just to give you a, an idea about the size of this, so you know, here's your Spartan, and here's the. It's not actually the top isn't actually glued on just yet. So here's a Spartan, and here's the base of the gun. So it's quite a decent size, quite a decent size gun indeed. Um, so yeah, and that. Now it doesn't look. I was a bit worried that it's going to go a bit crazy on the assembly side of things, um, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. It's just a few sprues, right? Now it is. It is a traditional model kit, uh, so there are a few like of these little parts, which is going to be a pain in the ass. It's it's not really going to be designed for play, so we're going to have to be very careful with it. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of these these parts. We've even got like shells and that as well. Um, you know, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, all, okay, maybe I'm wrong. There's a lot, a lot of parts. So this is, this is probably a little bit more than what I'd want to spend assembling a kit for games of Warhammer. I think Games Workshop hit the nail right on the head, um, you know, when they, with their assemblies, so they can allow people to uh, get into the games quick smart. Um, yeah, but you know, whatever. The guns, the guns just look so cool. You know, they're, they're really, really fantastic. So it should be good. And um, we've got the instruction manuals here as well. Oh, there's even stickers. And there's these little uh, metal parts as well, like for grills and stuff like that. Okay, which you can see. And um, it's really good. So there's a painting guide in it from MIG, one of my favorite brands. Um, aside from Citadel, of course, I love Citadel as well. Um, basically, yeah, so there you go. There's a bit of a painting guide from MIG there. All right, basically showing you some really cool camo schemes and all this kind of stuff like that. Um, really awesome. And uh, instruction manual. Uh, a few stickers, although we won't be using these stickers because, you know, I don't think we're going to be having, you know, Wehrmacht, um, you know, iconography on... Uh, on, on, on guns in the 40k universe, unless it's probably Death Corps Creed, but yeah, so you can see they're a very nice looking gun, always like the looks of it, and uh, I think it will fit in really nicely uh, into any war game, really, uh, as a terrain piece, or a, a hero prop, I mean, look at that, that's gorgeous, that belongs on the top of a tank, so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous turret, and uh, it's going to be a pleasure to paint that and put that up on my table. And uh, even though it might take a little while to assemble, but I might get some of the, the, the students to help me with it. And it should be good. So yeah, so it's just a bit of a quick video, everybody, just to catch up. Uh, just wanted to share that with you. I was really excited about it. And um, like I was saying, expect to see more content based around Star Wars Legions. Uh, we're putting together more of a uh, more of a board. I'll actually bring my Realm, Realm of Battles up there and stuff like that. And uh, set the green screen and everything up there for now. And um, yeah, so that's it for me for now. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. I'm going to finish off this Spartan, see if I can't get it done uh, over the weekend. I was back to work on Monday. And um, yeah, like I'll keep rolling, everybody. I'll catch you in the next video.